So in my ongoing saga to get closer to an, a production ML example, you know, typically it's notebook thing, fit, predict, open up REST API, one click push to production or shift enter push to production. That's not realistic. Typically as a data scientist, we're hearing, hey, I don't have access to production or staging. I have my local environment for compute. I have access to some dev tables. I'm now going to add in an actual continuous deployment step. So previously I've shown some continuous integration. Now we're going to do some continuous deployment on this end-to-end -end pipeline. Um, the details here, we're using, I'm using MLflow for experiment tracking, Dagster for orchestration, and GitHub Actions for both this explicit CI job as well as the CD job. But jargon aside, let's step through it so you can see what's going on. So I'm going to go to VS Code and, and just as a, I'm going to completely hand wave the feature engineering, model training, all the cool data science-y stuff I would do. Let's just make a quick edit to this uh, readme file. And before I do that, what I should have done was I should have said we need to check out a new feature branch. So this is good. the standard workflow would be as the data scientist, I'm going to check out a feature branch and we'll call this one GRC cool feature. Uh, now I will make my change in this branch and in the interest of time, I'll just call this foo. So we made a change. We can see that here, get status. We've made this change. I'm going to add the change. I'm going to commit it. Foo, sorry for all the bad spelling. And now I'm going to push this change shoe origin and we're going to push to grc cool feature this will then prompt me to open up a pull request which is going to be the workflow here i'm going to create this open this pull request this will then kick off the ci job that we've set up in our ci cd system and this will which will then test our code so i will create the pull request which with its misspellings and its ugliness and its silliness but we get hey we're gonna this branch hasn't been deployed Boom, we're starting something here. What's going on? This is the CI job. And we should have this nicely labeled as our CI job. And what's happening in this workflow file, just so you can see, Gus is learning GitHub Actions ML. On pull request to dev, which is the main branch in my case, we're gonna run, we're gonna pull down our code, set up a Python environment, run our Dagster job, which is gonna, which very nicely kind of encapsulates all the complexity of the ML pipeline and all the tracking with ML flow. We just let, essentially let Dagster handle it. And now once this is complete, which will take a minute or so to spin up, once this runs, and this by the way is, is solving for, hey, pinky swear, I made a change to the code base and I ran it in my machine and it works. No, 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 we're gonna test independently of that. Once this is done, this will then kick off a second workflow that will actually do a deployment. So we're doing the integration here, integrating all the code, running our tests. After that, we want to deploy. We want to have a deployment run in development. We're then going to have a second deployment run in staging. And if that succeeds, we'll finally have this workflow. We'll have a deployment run in prod. And in between these two steps, we're going to, using GitHub Actions, we're able to say, hold on, don't automatically do this. You can see, so the build just finished, sorry, on the left. Now this deployed development is occurring immediately. So as we look at our, our different steps, our different stages here in the summary, we ran this build step. This is kind of our core CI step and a, and a small deployment to dev. This succeeded excellent, which now means, hey, we someone from the engineering team would come over. They would see this PR. They'll open it up. They'll say, this guy doesn't know how to spell. He can't code, but his 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 CI test passed, his initial deployment passed, we'll go ahead and merge this pull request. Now upon this merge, this is when the, the second, our real CD part of the pipeline is gonna kick off. So I'll come back over to action so we can see this happening and then boom, we've got this, this next workflow occurring. And what's happening here now is we're gonna rerun our build just for posterity and, and maybe I should eliminate that. Then we're going to deploy to staging. And the reason why we want to deploy to staging is, and again, in a traditional environment, as the data scientist, I don't have access. I have access to a development environment. I have some dev data. Typically with ML stuff, the data volumes are really large. And in dev, I probably have some older data. I want to run this on something that's closer to, to what our production data volumes and, and what production data looks like. But I can't, it's either going to involve lots of compute data security issues. So I work with the subset. And then in staging, we keep the staging environment pretty close, if not identical to production. This is kind of the real core test. So of course, or hopefully, my pipeline here is gonna succeed, but it's very possible that yours would not. You might fail at this step, or the model metrics that come out of this might be like, hey, it looks great in dev, but now that we're actually running on what's close to real data, I'm realizing this isn't, this isn't actually working or it's not as effective as I thought. I need to go back to the drawing board. But for this case, we have this automated workflow running. We'll go back to our workflow file. This is the part of the workflow we're doing now. We're gonna go ahead and run our deploy to staging. And we can see as this, as this kicks off, back to the summary step, when this succeeds, 
This will then kick off the next part of the workflow, which is a human in the loop review. So this succeeded, great. It's staging pass. This means you know everything, all of our tests passed, the code, everything, the model ran, everything worked. And I need to I need to write some code to do this, but and our model metrics, our model looks good. Now we get to go to production, but in this case, we're gonna be explicit. There's no, okay, automatically one-click deploy, data scientist gets to do it. No, no, no. There's an admin, there's an engineering team that decides what goes into production. They control this at this point in time, this person is notified. Now for me, I'm the only one in this project, so I'm notifying myself, but I need to review this deployment. I need to go in and actually take a look at it. And then when I'm satisfied, reviewed metrics, et cetera, I can then say, hey, I approve this deployment. Model looks good. Obviously I'm hand waving all of this, but this is part of like the governance, the actual workflow that goes into this approve and now our deploy to production job will kick off. So in this way, the, the end user, the data scientist, their workflow to get their model into production is simply right, simply could be, could be distilled as write code, push code from to feature branch or into the development branch. And then you can, it's, it's typical at least, so I keep saying you can, but what we typically see from teams is they'll say, once the data scientist has done this, we have a series of steps, a series of auto, that some, some of which is automated to build their code, test their code, and then upon success of those tests, move their code into different environments, at which point we'll, we're, what we're calling deployments, maybe dev staging, and prod, and in each step there'll be different gateways and different review processes. If this is a bank and this is a model that's related to loans, this the model review process might take six or seven months. There might be spreadsheets and you know paper going into files as part of this process. In other avenues, it might be a bit faster, but typically there's always this sort of governance. It's never okay. I you know my notebook looks great. Let me just click a button or let me push a button inside of my cloud-based IDE and I'm, I'm going to deploy something like to, to production, right? I'm going to, I'm going to check code into source control and that's going to kick off other workflows. Anyway, this has already gotten way too long, uh, way more to come from me around the details of all of this, looping back to MLflow for our experiment tracking, using different environments in Dagster and the other great orchestration tools out there. Um, but at least for me, this was really helpful in seeing kind of a clear difference between the CI workflow and the CD workflow as it pertains to the end user, which is like, hey, I just checked my code in and then the process kicks off.